Well, all right. Um, so, uh, first of all, let me apologize if the audio quality or anything else is a little bit off. Uh, I I just decided to do this when I, I got this game and really liked it. I wanted to kind of record it uh, so I could do some analysis with it later. Uh, but I could not wait. I started playing it a little bit before I could really perfect figuring out what the hell I was doing streaming or recording I just wanted to keep on playing so uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, oh, never mind. anyway um, as you see one of the greatest uh, quality of life things I think so far is the way they've done this. The battlefield is obviously kind of done in a session uh, which is allows them to uh, just give you all the loot without having to make you go all the way around and find all the dead bodies and shit like that and pick all of these up. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, and again, it's an individual um, inventory or a, 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 joint in, a joint inventory so you don't have to disperse the, the ammunition. Everybody gets their own or everybody shares out of a, a, a normal pool, which means you need to pay attention if you got multiple people using the same caliber uh, round, uh, that one doesn't chew up all the caliber and leave the other person without uh, a fallback weapon that they're proficient at. So just beware of that. But for all of the uh, the benefits that you get from having a combined inventory, uh, that is not a a, a fall or a, a harsh penalty at all at all whatsoever so most of the stuff you get here is kind of junk yellow snowball is interesting uh something you can do immediately to throw like a, a, a debuff on the enemy by throwing a pissy snowball at them uh, you even get to make some later you find some white snowballs uh or, that you can pee on but um one interesting thing about the the pick up some snowballs that aren't pissy because it will allow you to put yourself out if you um catch on fire Okay, hit yourself with snowballs, pelt your, your teammate with snowballs, or yourself with snowballs, and it'll help. That's the, I, I haven't figured out a way to stop, drop, and roll if you catch on fire. Um, and you will catch on fire if you don't pay attention to where your people follow you through, because they'll walk right the fuck through fire if you don't, if you make sure, if you don't make sure they don't. Um, the AI in this game is good, but it's not perfect. Um, and still, I mean, it's not like you wouldn't ever lead somebody that wouldn't just stumble through fire if you didn't stop them. Anyway, uh, scrap, 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 scrap. Most, most, not too much interesting stuff this early in the game, but we're going to go ahead and go up. Uh, we're going to see if we can't find... Uh, ah, so there's that, that, there's that crazy motherfucker. We're going to, we're going to kill him real quick. You can easily, you can easily hit him from outside um, the stream, but I, I kind of want to try and play her as a defensive uh, melee person. I didn't lose too much. What the hell? And now I can kill him, so that is actually pretty good. That's exactly how a melee uh, person I would expect to be. All right, because he is easily, normally when I play him, I, I walk up to that circle. I probably should have showed you the circle, but if you've played the game, you'll know that when you get close to the enemy, a circle shows up, and that represents their awareness. If you're outside of that, they don't see you, and you can do whatever you want. Okay, so you can take a pot shot at somebody before they see you, and that's a sneak attack. Uh, and it initiates combat, um, but you might also get um, critical bonuses and things like that for sneak attacks. So. It's something you can play into if you're a sniper or if you have a long range like uh, Brian of Tarth could have mowed him down. But Arya, Arya's got some aggression she needs to build up or needs to get rid of right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let her. Also, I've never played an, a melee character this early in the game and I need to practice before I get into an area where it's going to kick my ass. So we used to say um, bleed. Bleed more in training means you, or sweat more in training means you bleed less during combat. So, uh, I will practice as much as I can with my melee character early in the game so that I can pick up some other stuff later. Like I said, if it, she would follow me straight through that, okay? If I walk through it, so 
And if I walked by it, she might walk through it. So be careful if you're going through minefields or around enemies and stuff like this. Maybe you blew her up already. Liar. Alright, so I have no idea who this bitch is talking about. And by bitch, I mean uh, with all feminine respect and uh, authority and power to women. I swear to God, if you're looking for equality, you're selling yourself short. You guys are amazing. Uh, you can do everything that men can do, plus give birth. So, you know, who the fuck is the better sex right there? But, so, she's holding a gun to a friend of mine's heads. So, she is a bitch. Uh, and that has nothing to do with nothing else except for the fact that she'd be a bitch. And so, therefore, she needs to be shot. Now, you can supposedly come up here and talk to her okay but there are some ramifications uh especially in this game uh, this game that's trying to teach you that there are ramifications to anything that you do if you go up here and try to talk her out of this there's a chance that she'll go snap and shoot um little miss uh private jody bell uh right in the fucking head you can still kill her but jody's dead okay and jody god bless her soul is a new ranger and inside this container is her foot locker and or I guess is is it, you find a tape from her parents right saying how proud they were of her and shit like that and this is like her first mission let's not lose Jody Bell so um, I don't know why anybody would ever walk oh, you I usually have a sniper and this time I do not have a sniper fuck me I might be able to hit her with 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 Brianna's thing how far can I hit okay but what's the what's the chance that I hit her with it? Cause see, they want me to go talk to her, and I do not want to go talk to her. You know why? Cause she's already showing herself to be a deadly. Should I talk her down? Why the fuck should I talk her down? The only reason I would want to talk her down is because she's talking that shit about what'd you do with her, where'd she go? And so far, I've only played about an hour into this game, but she has not. I, I have no idea who she's talking about, and I'm very intrigued. But I can still force myself to shoot her. 69 chance. I can crouch and I'll make that a better chance. Right? 79% chance. So now, yeah, I'm, you're gone, lady. Uh, thanks. I don't think I could have lasted another second. Well, I'm glad that I didn't hit you with any uh, stray bullets there, Jody. Uh, I would have felt like shit. Um, which is why I like to use a sniper, but I think that if I, I, I worry that if I would run up with Maisie, with, uh, excuse me, Arya, that she would have got shot, and I, I wouldn't want that to happen. Okay, really did a number on me. Uh, any other survivors from your squad? I don't have first aid, so I can't do, I can't do that, but any other survivors? No, likely. Most of them burned with our transport. Having voice acting in, in a top-down is kind of new for interplay. I like it. That sucks. A couple more went under the ice. Major Tom. Major Tom. Might have made it. This is ground control to Major Tom. She gave me some smokes. Tom must be a scrappy old staff sergeant or some shit. All right. Might get his attention. All right. Uh, you need some help. Look, that's she must have been she must have been skull cracked with that. Uh, um, pistol whipped. We'll come back for you, Jody. Okay. All right. Be but first, careful. We will be. All right, junk, 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 money, cigarettes. Um, luck, if you have high luck, you make a lot of money. Uh, normally I start with the sniper, um, and snipers, I usually dump a lot into their luck, uh, specifically for that. They have high awareness, high luck, uh, which makes them great scouts. Uh, but I guess I decided to make myself sometimes Ah. I've never been accused of always taking the easy way out. That's for certain. Yeah, this is the sad. The voice acting is pretty good in this game. I'll make sure I don't roll over a cat. 
Man, I'd hate to have to write that fucking letter. Because you know there's only two of us left. Well, and the major. But that basically means that I've got about... Well, if they brought a whole battery or a whole or a whole company, um, that's about 96, 96 letters to letters to parents and loved ones that I got to write. That would suck. So I saved myself some paperwork at least by by, <laughs> by not letting Jody die. So, which is funny because Jody, if you've ever been in the military, Jody, who's usually we sing about him because he's the guy who's at home fucking our girlfriends when we're off the fucking fighting wars. Um, there's many, many cadences about Jody. Uh, look it up sometime. I don't know if I can sing him with without um, maybe changing my adult uh, ratings. Uh, only, only adults because some of them are pretty, pretty raunchy. Because Jody was fucking our girls, right? Um, so anyway, um, now fucking apocalyptic. It looks cold as shit there, doesn't it? That is some... I love the, the graphics on this. They did... They outdid themselves. Um, I have... I have the... What the fuck, over? How come I can't... What do I... My, my screen's not moving at all. But, alright. Looped the keys... Dorsey's, Dorsey's been here for too dang long. And it's not moving me anymore. Oh my god, I do sing stuff. Who was it? Was that my brother that asked me that? He's right. We do sing. Holy shit, Sean. You're right. I just sang that. I was trying to debug in my head and I sang the fucking fault problems. It was not, it was not moving me. Oh, I love you, man. If you ever watch this, I love you, Sean. <laughs> this is, this is the night that we talked. Um, you were doing, you were doing, uh, Nat was out doing ladies night and you were hanging out with your buds, uh, Milo, like the tea and Caleb and Caleb was watching the Pikachu, Pikachu. You don't know this, Caleb, but um, but your cousin Sean. I'm sorry, your dad's name is Sean. Your cousin Calvin loved the shit out of Pikachu. Um, and there were s today is the same day that I told your dad about how fucking annoying his noises were one summer when he decided he wanted to learn how to make sound effects. Calvin, your cousin Calvin, did the same shit with just the one sound of the Pikachu. Yes, 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 yes. It's psychological warfare. Psychological warfare. Do not ever go up against a McInerney, uh, because they can use sound to drive you insane. Anyway, let's go kill these guys real quick. How am I going to get all of them? Do I have any grenades or anything? I do not. So, let's move a little bit closer. A little bit closer now. A little bit closer now. Alright, so that's how close I can get before they know that I am here. All right, so Brienne likes to. Now, I gotta tell you a little bit about this before I do it, okay? Spacebar in this sets you to individual so you can run an individual around and they can do what they need to do, okay? So I'm gonna run her over here so she's ready to swoop in and s stab the motherfucker, okay? So, I got to tell you about this lady here. Private Beltran. All right. The deal is, is that I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to take, I'm put things out of out of order there, okay? Because this is how I deal with her now. Because it's a shitty way that they give it to you. First of all, she is, she is, she's a little bit broken right now. And the way you deal with that is that you, you keep her with you unless you can send her. A little bit back from the rear but leaving her by herself which is one of the options is not the way to do it because she's already there's part of her that feels fucking worthless because she knows she's broken but it's okay that she's broken 
okay? It's okay that she's broken. She needs to know that it's okay that she's broken, okay? So it's fucked up that in this game that is supposed to understand the manifestation of, 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 of choices and stuff like that, they don't give us that option because that's a pretty good option and would have been an awesome addition if they would have asked me to beta test this shit. But anyway... There are two ways that you're going to be able to deal with Private Beltran, who has fucking combat fatigue right now that requires empathy and support and love. But you're going to either, she's either going to die or because you're going to have to shoot her or you're going to have to leave her on your own after, after you said, come on, we need your help. And she had to say, I can't do it, right? Which is okay. A person should be able to say, God damn it, I can't do it. But she said that, and my choice is to either just leave her like a piece of shit, which she's not, she's a human fucking being, but my choice is to either leave her like a piece of shit or shoot her in the fucking head, right? So, fuck, I hate those choices. I hate those choices, and so this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with, and it's a little bit fucked up, but it's possible. I'm going to blow the shit out of this oil tank. I'm going to blow the shit out of this oil tank, and then... Hopefully, it's a possibility that she will have a chance to survive. But it's not up to me now. It's up to the fucking game's random number generator, okay? So, in the, in the philosophical puzzle of the streetcar, what do you do? Do you hit the switch or not? Well, I'm, I'm going to blow the fucking switch up. And if you don't know the streetcar dilemma, uh, well... Ask me and I'll, I'll make a video to explain it. Uh, oh, oh, I got shit tons of stories. I'm a fucking grandpa. Well, I'm not a grandpa yet, but I'm grumpy about it. Well, I'm not grumpy about it, but I am a gamer. I'll go with that. And I wanted to reserve the other one because one of these days I might be a grandpa. Um, and if I'm not, that's cool. I've got dogs and cats. And uh, even if I ever do become a grandpa, honestly, my kids live on the other side of the world from here. I'll never fucking see him, you know, any closer than I'll be able to see him in. They got their own lives, their good lives, and I'm happy for them. And I get to play with dogs, which is my substitute for grandkids. So, honestly, I've got eight animals, so lucky for my kids, they live way away, and I can't pester them to give me fucking grandkids, because obviously my estrogen levels are through the roof. Anyway, I am going to blow this fucking tank up and let God sort them out, sort of, if you get my meaning, okay? So, no. Come down here. Kneel. Go. Ah. Now, folks, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. The... I don't know that there's ever been a time... Oh, shit, I missed. That's not good. That's going to hurt when he hits me back because I don't have anything left. Um, there's not been a time... Oh, I got extra action points. That's nice. That they made it. But see, look, the Doorsy Ambusher, he's got 78. I mean, he's just as close. She never makes it, though. But honestly, <sighs> no, no. If I put myself in her position, there had been, there would have been many, many times in my life between then and now that I would have rather have gone like that. Like a fucking, in an instant. I mean, that's a glorious fucking way to die. Uh, unless it was, took time. I mean, likely it'd be, it, if it took any time whatsoever, it might have been more painful. But it's still a glorious way to die. And it's, you're done. You're done. But I'm happier now. And so I'm sad that she dies completely. Because she might have, she might have pulled through. She might have pulled through. But... Random num number generator said that this dickhead gets to live. This this lady doesn't. That was her fiance. 
you know maybe she's just as happy that she's off in i mean maybe there is a heaven and maybe maybe that's awesome and they can you know what i mean maybe they can uh they can be together finally. I hope so. I hope so. That'd be a, that'd be a lovely thing. That'd be a lovely thing. I need to turn on my fucking edge scrolling again. I think you know that. All right. So I'm kind of out in the open right now, and I don't want to move over there. Yeah, let's move over there. I can hide that because he's gonna have to makes him come through. Makes him come through the fire if he wants to attack me in melee. Ha ha. Bring it. All right, so now I can't, I've only got one, so why spend one to save nothing? Then I'm going to hunker down. Come on. Come on, bring it to me. End your turn. Come on. Oh, see, you're stupid. You ran through the fire. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's just delicious. Watching people run through the goddamn fire. That is that is hilarious. Okay, so Arya Stark has taken a bit of a hit. Where are we here? This guy's kind of on fire still. What a fucking idiot. Alright, well thank you for that. Because look, it's it's already out. I mean, that was a very, very short-lived fire. Alright, so first of all, Arya, I think that if you take another hit, I'd be worried. So why don't you go ahead and take a hit of that. And while you're healing up a little bit, oh, check this shit out. Look at this. So I bet you can go here. Arya, why don't you come over here? And, and then ambush. And then you are going to wipe these motherfuckers out. Pow! I love a good machine gun, man. I love it. I love it. If you ever have an opportunity to shoot the joy that is the M249 squad assault weapon, do so. It is an absolute... Makes me want to get a, uh, a a dealer's license just to buy one for myself, but I can't really justify it. What happened? What happened there? Oh no, Brand! What happened? Tuckered out. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I get this. This is she. Remember, she got two extra points to begin with, and then she's minus one. But check it out. That's the last dude. So he does. We don't really need a whole lot of points. And look what look what Maisie's got. Look what look what Ari or Ari's got. So yeah, I think he's done. Cause watch how fast her strike builds up, and then she can just knock him out. Let's go tear it up. Boom! Ow! Oh! Oh! Man, you wuss! You're not even enough to build a strike meter up. What a chump! Anyway. Get up behind them yahoos then. She kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you've ever played uh, Fallout 76, but she kind of sounds like, I, I think of her like the Overseer. You know, the one from Fallout 76. It is really odd because this is like the only vault. This is like the only vault that was not a total... There was only one in everything that Bolt Tech did, and this is off topic and off game even. Um, so I don't know if I lose. But what do we got here? Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. I mean, it's ammo. Ammo is always of interest. That's good that we got that because we just used one. All right, Brianna Tars is kind of hurting. Well, she's got a lot there, doesn't she? Uh, 36 out of 94, she's got 42 out of 55, so she's still got just about the same amount as Ari does. But she's also my tank. So, there's two ways that you can use first aid things, okay? So you can go in your inventory and look at your consumables. And the cool thing about a lot of first aid things is even if I don't have the first aid skill, which she does not have a first aid skill, um, even if I did not... I, there are some consumables I can use 
this, the, the hypo, is one of them. Think of it as just like a little uh, morphine, just that's like we carried to Normandy. Um, use uh, way I say we, as in I was definitely not there. Use that on self, and then just do that, and then that that works, right? So you don't. There's there's all kinds of things things that make it easier than whew, some of the old hardcore stuff. But some of the old hardcore stuff is pretty cool. Like I said, if you've got a if you've got an awesome ass dungeon master, they can make the chores enjoyable. Absolutely. Um, I I do not I do not have anything against. Doing things dip with difficulty or intricacy. Well, don't let me lie to you. Sometimes I do. I am a lazy motherfucker. Nice. That was grenades, which means didn't I give somebody grenade? Explosives. Boom. No, not her. How about Maisie? Ah, shit. Ah, yes, I did. Ooh, explosives too. Oh, and they gave me three. Ho, ho, ho. I have some motherfucking grenades. Uh, and my luck's not even that good, but that was a nice. Now, as you see, only one of them went in there. She will automatically draw from this pool. I can also give one to Brianna. Okay, and now there's one in the the communal pool, one on her belt, and one on Maisie's belt. One on, I don't know why I keep calling her Maisie. That's a little bit stalkery. This is. Aria, a character, not the actress, Maisie Williams. I apologize, Maisie Williams. Um, I hope my IP address has never been used in anything nefarious, even remotely related to you. And if so, that is why my luck is at one. Um, but I am lucky in love, so... Anyways... Moving on, moving on. Hey, I forgot to put my hats on. Let's see, who, who do I want to wear that hat? Now, this hat gives you a plus up to everything. If you notice, um, the Fallout games, they have the special, uh, the all your characteristics, special speed, uh, strength, uh, perception, endurance, uh, charisma, intelligence, uh, agility and luck right and this is classic and I think that's a nod to the fact that these guys were the ones who came up with it and sort of copyrighted that particular um, it's sort of an elbow because they they both both houses both development houses work together on so many different projects the people have it's like two super groups it really is I mean they're they're great Everything that's ever come, well, I'm not going to say everything, but I mean, you go back 15 years, 10 years, shit, has it been that long? Probably not. But anyway, you go back far enough to where it's just like the interplay out there, the, the, there, there wasn't very many, and this is genre defining. They were a genre defining. They worked RPGs, you know, converting classic desktop RPGs to computer RPGs, which say id software was when they created doom you know they created a three-dimensional representation uh on the computer screen for us to live out our adventures i mean it was genre defining it was breakthrough so sorry i digress so this pluses up every one of the the classic stats okay so who do i want to be the best all around and should it be aria or should it be this lady here? What does it benefit us? Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, charisma. Uh, I think I want her to because she is going to get hurt if I'm not careful. And I don't want her to get hurt. And so I am going to be careful. And so I'm going to give her every, um, what's the word? Every, well, what would you give your daughter? Not that she's my daughter. That's a little stalkerish. Um, this also is going to give her a experience bonus. So I will skill up faster. Um, charisma also does. Neither of these really have any charisma. Neither of them had it. Eh, one could argue that Arya had shit tons of charisma. 
uh, like from birth. Because, I mean, remember when she shot that arrow in like episode one? <laughs> Brain was trying to fucking fire an arrow or maybe his little brother. I forget which ones. So many died. So many died. Um, but, and then she fired an arrow from like back over his shoulder and still hit a better, the target better than he did. That was delightful. That's, that's my kind of, that's my kind of female character. Uh, of course she was like eight years old at the time. I don't know, but she developed into, um, shit, a little hellion. Remember when she, I am fucking going on and on. Someone tapped the screen. I gotta, I gotta move on guys. Sorry. Um, you don't have to wait. Tap, tap sooner next time. Uh, go ahead, try it. I'll hear you. Promise. Anywho, uh, I think I'm going to give Maisie also a pistol. She doesn't have it yet. Uh, she does. She has requires one small arms. But again, the interesting thing is, um, even though she doesn't have assault rifles or automatic weapons, she could use it. She can equip it. You can equip anything. You can attempt, um, right, uh, that you'll just have some debuffs. Now, other things in the game are, are hard skill checks. Like, it, sometimes it just says fails, lockpick two, not met, you know, things like that. Uh, so it's not like in Skyrim where you can try and pick a master lock even though you have, uh, you've never invested any points whatsoever into the thief skill. Um, but, as I said, here, she's going to do better with this. Um, the cool thing, shotgun and pistol both small arms okay they grouped their things automatic weapons automatic pistols automatic rifles Lo or long arms short arms but they're both automatics um, and heavies are both uh, rockets and uh, machine gun I already gave her the war pig machine gun she would also she could also use the roasty toasty right uh, which is another good thing she can run into a, an area and just blast it with fire People do not like fire, and there's not very many uh, things early in the game that have a lot of armor. Later, of course, we're fighting synths and uh, robots, so fire is less effective then, but uh, machine guns are more. And... Dun, 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 do I want to stick with that? I could also give her the shotgun, because she can use both of them. But I think uh, I'm having fun sh actually using the stabby. But do we have another stabby, ooh, Blade of Winter? Oh, look at that Blade of Winter. How, that's probably why I thought of this. That was probably, that might be very well, because that's not the first time I saw that, certainly. Uh, but that might be why I thought of using Game of Thrones characters. So there you go, seed. Um, and close. Let me real quick save this, escape. I want to save the game, and I want to ambush site. Return to game. All right. Now we can continue on. Ouch. That was not good. That was a little bloody right there, wasn't it? That's just rude. Come on, man. Come on, man. I might have to turn my my side scroll on again. I turned my side scroll off because I used two screens, and I kept I kept moving off screen, and it would try to. Oh, requires mechanics. It would try to. The game would scroll all over hell and back. You know what I'm saying? All right, repair success. I'm a mechanic. So I get to fix stuff. There's also nerd skills and things like that that you can use. Oh, shit. Which is lucky. So. I don't have any nerd skills, but sometimes you can still do what you need to do without having any nerd type skills. Um, enter commands. I can't do whatever that lets me do, but I can disable the defenses, right? Which is nice. See how it turned yellow? And now I can just, I can just keep on keeping on. Let's see what this guy's got for me. 
Oh, oh, machine turret requires two mechanics. My lady's only got one mechanic right now, but she'll have it soon because I happen to know a little birdie, a little birdie name of Jeffrey, a little birdie name of Jeffrey told me that there is a mechanics suit. All right, who's got good awareness? Because I also know. See, check it out. I've got good awareness, but even if I did not have good awareness to see that, see how that looks like somebody might have stepped on a landmine and just kablooied themselves? Yeah, sometimes they, they leave pretty good clues about the shit that can happen to you, all right? So, because Arya's got explosives, she can pick up, she can disarm this. Now, I don't get a pick up of the frags like, uh, like in Fallout, but there is a perk that allows me to recover a... Uh, there is a perk that allows me to recover... Ooh, what's that? The Dorsey Gut Ripper. Ooh, a cruel weapon. All those nasty little edges. That does look... What do you mean? Requires two melee combat. Did I... Oh, I took... All right. And then that smoke detection. You can pop smoke and everybody inside the smoke increases their evasion. So if uh, you find yourself caught in the open, pop smoke. Um, where, where when you get as far as you can um, and away from the, the the kill zone and then at least it'll help you evade whatever fire can reach you okay so uh, you get hit in an ambush now you got to be careful because sometimes you know you run away from an ambush that you think is the main ambush and it just turns out that it's the uh, pick lock failure. Don't I have a pick lock? Come on, man. I thought I had a pick lock. I thought I had some sort of a pick lock. Please. Please. Skills, 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 skills. Melee combat. I don't. Holy shit, Jeffrey. Are you a dummy? Man, I started out with... Because, see, normally I have a sniper. That is, I have really hamstrung myself. Well, now I know. Get get your sniper as soon as possible. Usually the sniper... My sniper has high luck and high awareness. Plus she's my pick lock. Okay? So she finds things like booby traps. And she can open crates that have been locked. And she has really high luck so that the stuff we find in the crates that we managed to get to because we avoided the traps and she opened because she could hack the locks was a lot of stuff and now i'm just man i am hamstrung boy well i'll be able to fix it here pretty soon anyway i've got nothing i've got nothing so let me come over here i can't i got nothing so armor crate i'm missing out on some armor jay willikers jeffrey turn that on It really hurts me. To a great degree. Strangers, what's that here? Took care of the hostiles who jumped me. But those bastards are still up there on the deck. Ah, you can... A little bit critical chance, okay. Loot all. Um, you can use, if you, if you say... If you hit the left shift key, you can look at what's available to interact with. All right. Uh, a lot of the consumables in this game, they are really, 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 really not worth using. Um, I tell you what, I need to turn edge scrolling back on options. Now I'm gonna look like an idiot because I don't know if I can remember how I did this to begin with. This is how you turn off auto switch character and auto in turn though, okay? Like, I don't like the way they switch through my characters. Um, a lot of times, I, I, I have a very specific, I like my heavies to tear up the, the landscape a little bit. And then when they're kind of shocked and, you know, out of cover, then my gunslingers or my snipers pick off the ones, either the, the heaviest that I can pick off in one or pick off a whole bunch of little ones. Um... And I also don't like to end turn and only pussies fight without friendly fire on. Um, but I'm not that brave because I'm fighting on Ranger. Uh, and um, 
pussy is not a derogatory term for the the, the female uh, genitalia and if anybody takes it only that way then I do apologize for any offense I may have caused uh, it's not meant that way um, as a matter of fact my my best friends and I have called each other pussies more often than I have ever said that word while talking dirty um, which may say something about uh, the relative success of my sex life or the quality of people that I hang out with or a combination of both but either way I didn't mean to offend you by saying pussy we're just here to kill shit yeah I don't want to be on the list of things to kill Ed scrolling boom Bob's your uncle save and close get the fuck back return to game all right, now I can do it again. Uh, the reason that I had to stop is because I use, again, two screens, and I don't have it restricted to just one, and I kept throwing off my game, and so I just stopped using it and using the, uh, the keyboards, which worked for a time, except now oh, I need some. Do I have enough ammo? I hope to God I have enough ammo. Brian of Tarth, what are you using? 762s? I've got 223. Yeah, I've got enough. I'm good. I'm good. What does she got? She got that and that and she got grenades. And the thing about the communal um, inventory, if there comes a time when Let's say, let's say Aria is, oh, that's good to have. The injury kit's another thing, like, right? You can use it on yourself, even if you have no first aid, sk first aid skills. It's awesome. The Nitro Spike. The Nitro Spike allows you, if you can't revive somebody in combat and they become incapacitated, uh, you can either get them to a doctor to be revived, that, which is kind of weird. It's like, what do they mean, revived? They're in... You can't bring him back from the dead, so revive from what? From a coma? But the Nitro Spike allows you to um, revive all of your party members, which seems kind of odd, which means it seems like I'm one guy, and all of my party members are dead, but I survived. I use one Nitro Spike, and Bob's your uncle, I've got all my party back. That's kind of magical shit right there. Uh, we would definitely whoop the fuck out of COVID-19 if we had the nitro spike. Uh, but we don't, so keep your fucking distance. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't social to begin with. <laughs> Alright, tap, someone tapped on the glass. Time to go. Alright, of course I'm going to loot it all. I don't know why anybody even ever asks. Why, that should just be an automatic thing, shouldn't it? Boom. Kind of like when you, when you loot all the bodies, it'd be nice to just go to one container that's available. Except for the fact that combat is kept, combat is kept in a session, right? There is literally a session that the combat is, whereas there's stuff all over the environment. So it does make sense that they're not going to have something like that. Oh, I heard something beeping that tells me that I, my time is running short to get this shit on the road. On the other side of the door, I can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. Oh, I hate it when people I don't like use rockets. Open the door, leave it closed. Fuck yeah. Well, are they, is the rocket fire coming towards me? Because that would be a shitty way to open the door. Well, you got to go through it. The major's on the other side, right? All right, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. I am talking to myself, and I don't mean to imply that I've not played this game before. I've just played this game enough to where I have. You can ask my wife. It's authentic. I'm not trying to pretend that... Uh, I've not played this game. I absolutely have. I love this fucking game. If I didn't love this game, I wouldn't be recording it because, well, I wouldn't be playing it, for one, because why the fuck would I care? Hallie, you psycho son of a bitch. He reminds me of Dewey fucking Crow. 
If you've ever seen Justified, I'm Dewey Goddamn Crow. I like his I like his fucking armor though. Check out that that rib. He's got he's got he's got he. They made their armor out of uh, bones. <laughs> I mean that is not that is not un acceptable armor in all in all reality bones have been good armor for vikings or neanderthals or all kinds of shit i mean it, it protected the innards of the dog until something got through so just make sure you don't fight somebody who's got whatever it was you killed the dog with or the animal with melee combat to requirement not met oh now i wish fuck i wish i wish what your hat i wish every every area I had melee combat to. Oh well. Why the fuck did you attack us? Because it was ordained. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the Psycho. The motherfucking end of the old world and the beginning of the new. Psycho fucking. You know who would have been good? Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins has played the best psycho fuckers ever. So squeal all yeah. you want. No Him and Dern. Whoops. Oh. He did not have good premonition, did he? No, he did not. Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Alright, so Arya Stark has a lot of AP. I may should have given her some health before I started this, but I can suck it up. Uh, just got to be careful. She has a lot of AP. Look at that. I can get all the way up there. But can you hear? I love the soundtrack on this. The It's kind of old-timey religion. I've got one, that's, I've got one there, I've got one there, all right, I've got one there, and I've got one there, so Brian, she can definitely take him out, but I bet, ooh, I better not take that, if I shoot, the, if I, yeah, if I do that, that's going to blow that up, I don't want to do that, but I can definitely take this dude out. Or, seriously, Brian has that much? Oh, wow. Can I get that far and still shoot? Holy shit. Or is that, no, that's Maisie, isn't it? That's Maisie. Okay. Not Maisie, Jeffrey. G. Williams, Jeffrey. Alright. Oh, I don't want to use that. I want to use that. Out of range, so I need to. I bet if I get to there, then he's in range. Yes. Bye bye. Blood. So, so much blood. He says that. He says that. They're the psychos. I am not the psycho, but I will mock. I will mock a psycho. Fuck yes, I will. So I'm going to go ahead and defend. I do believe that saving zero AP seems like a waste of time. I might misunderstand it, but I know that defend works. Maisie, what you got for me, girl? What you got for me? Now, it might be a good to not use... Right, because uh, I don't want to blow shit up. It might blow us all up. Or is it a good thing to blow shit up? How far can I throw this? Uh, uh. All right, it doesn't take everything. And that doesn't either. But I like this, because if I blow that up, I'm also, I'm also, um, stealing this 
real estate from the enemy. Okay, they, I'm stealing this avenue. They can't come through this way. Okay, this guy can't come down off of here. And this guy can't come through here. He's going to have to back the fuck up. Maybe. Where else can I hit? I can't hit anything else from where I am. But I'm not going to stay there, am I? So let me... Let me... Instead, click on that so I can stop. Click on that and so I can move. Go all the way here. All right. And then... Boom. Boom. All right. Well, of course, I can't get to him either, but that's all right, because what I'm going to do is now flank back over this way. Now that I know that they can't put us into a pincher movement, um, and then that is the end of my turn. She got a nice assault rifle, I think. All right, so now it's my turn. And again, see, they keep one area to go first because her initiative is a little bit better. But there might be strategic reasons that it's better for Brian to go first, and specifically because she has two extra. She's a two pump chump. After this turn, she's going to be down two. So I need to finish this fucking. I need to close this. Winners always be closing. The coffee is for closers. Okay, so we need to close this out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's 20, that's 30. And what's cool about this is it tells you, watch how as I move around, it changes the percentage. If you can see the percentage of the of, above his red bar, what will happen if I go hither or, or someplace else, right? Um, and I think what I want to do is if I go all the way over here, boom, boom, and now Aria, yay, I didn't, I didn't use her stalking voice, but no, 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 no. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was so afraid she was going to shoot me with that fucking rocket. I'd have been toast. Because look at it. I know it's bad I did to do that. And I did just that. So, whoops. I think I can take this guy out now.
All right. All right. I'll be honest with you. I was a little bit worried about that for a second. I thought I'd done fucked up. And I can, I can tell you how you can tell that I was a little bit worried. I was quiet. So... I was really... <laughs> That's said you can always tell when um, I think I fucked up. I get real quiet for a little bit. Uh, first aid, medic pack is the only thing that I found, one of the few things that requires actual first aid skill to be used. But uh, that takes the place of the, there's other things. There's things you can eat. There's things that you can consume. There's lots of ways to uh, get yourself back. So... Loot all, loot all to full. Ooh, nice mangler and rockets can always help. Use rockets. They are expensive. They are expensive. Uh, but look, look how how well that worked out. I got promoted, and uh, even though I was about to die on both of them, da da. And as you notice, um, my weapons got reloaded. Um, there is a setting again uh, if you're using a weapon uh, it, it automatically reloads at the end you don't replenish your ammunition necessarily but you you recharge you can turn that off um, but again um, you know if my life's dependent on it I'm gonna make sure I fucking uh, clean my weapon before I sleep uh, or uh, more more often if I don't get a chance to sleep uh, and I'm also going to uh, well, suffice it to say, my life don't really depend on it, so it's nice not to have to fucking keep that in mind. I've got I enough shit to keep track of, right? Because I'm six Any people in this game, survivors? not just me. Yes, I did find another survivor. I found Jody, Private Bell. She should be here soon. Yes. Bell's a good kid. She is a good kid. Thank you. You did well. No. Closes her eyes, grimacing, then fumbles in her knapsack. I'm leaving. All the other paperwork. Uh, Mission we need completed. To, to hit Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. Okay, so this is important because I take these orders seriously. Okay? Um. She's my commanding officer. She charged me with these, uh, and she was given these orders, and I'm taking them. Uh, I still obey my general orders. Uh, do I remember my general orders off the top of my head? I will guard everything within the limits of my post and will quit my post only when properly relieved. I will obey my special orders and report anything not covered in my instructions to the commander of the relief. I will guard everything within the limits of my post and will quit my post only when properly relieved. I will obey my special orders. Fuck, I think I've forgotten one of them. But, you know what? I'm already supernumerary. And if you know what that word means, then fucking kudos, you are as old as me and or you come from a hardcore, old school military unit like the first cab or something like that yeah. where we still do stuff and the an anyway no i'm not gonna talk shit i've been retired for a long time and the rangers are fucked that brings me to ah, secret we place. are fucked we are fucked so why didn't all of the rangers come come west i i don't get it and that brings me to the secret orders how secret who else knows about them uh, only me got them from, got them from general Wilson. Oh. Kind of scary. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent a sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela. Death. Now, if you've played Death other Death. games, you know who Angela Death, Death is. But again, I'm you don't have to know who Angela Death is. It even gives you an opportunity if you want to know who Angela Death is to ask questions and shit like this. But you know, if if you want to do the research, you can do the research. Uh, if you play through this, uh, me, I'm just going to drive through. I've already talked. Uh, I was interested in this, though. We thought Angela Death was killed on a mission to California. No. She found her way home and found out all her squad mates Because that's how I ended the game. Oh, jeez. That's some shit. 
volunteered for the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghost. Her ghost. Give me a second. Catch my breath. We can go. All right. Now she's dying. So we know she's dying. I've got a hard ass. And with this, I help her. You can help her face it a little bit better. I, I really like this. I'm I, I mean, is this because it's so cold out, or it, this is a rushing river? I guess, but it's a little bit strange um, because I'm in the middle of a conversation. Eh, anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't have first aid again. Well, that sucks, man. I need to come back sometime when I have first aid. I don't want to just leave her to die. That's a dick thing to do. I'm not going to kill her, but I am going to help her face it. Because if if I help her up, her fucking she disembowels herself. Her guts, her guts are hanging out. Okay, and this just makes her grimace. Okay, so it's time to uh, I'm going to help her cowboy up. If you know what I'm talking about. I say you gotta face this, Major. You gotta you gotta take this like a ranger. Her jaw tightens at your words, but finally she nods and releasing her grip on her wound. Blood and viscera spill to the snow. And of course she probably shit herself too, so uh, I guess if your guts are gonna fall over the place, you you your guts and your bowels you wanna be empty. But um that's alright. Well, it's sad. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Now I will take her hand though. Fuck yeah I will. She's a badass. She's facing her death, right? She's facing her fucking... The, the thing most people fear more than anything else. She's facing it. Fuck yeah I'll hold your hand. Her hand closes over yours, fierce and tight. She tries to speak, but then the light fades from her eyes. She's gone. And yet as honorable as she was and as emotional as her death was for me before her body cools I'm gonna loop the shit out of it sorry got shit to do she would understand all right so she gets the armor that I pick up until I tell it's better okay uh, even though it's going to be good when I get her in scout armor. Now, if you don't like the way it looks compared to uh, what she's, what, whatever she's wearing already, you can always just take it off. But I kind of dig it. I, I definitely dig this cap. I, every time I make a gunslinger, this is what they wear, even if they don't need the, uh, the, the buffs. Because, I don't know, it's fucking cool. Clothes. Um, I've not found another way to see him pose from inside without going exiting out and coming back in and nor have I found a way to get rid of this I would love to have a way to you know send this to the background and maybe there is if you know of a way ping me let me know I would love to say I would love to see it but there's there's no way that I see that I can bring her to the forefront so I can play house or paper dolls with my characters because I love that shit uh, but for now, let's go back to, uh, we got to go meet Major Tom, man. Check it out. And then we'll, uh, I will do my plus-ups at the beginning of the next video. Uh, but first, let's meet Major Tom because he's awesome, okay? So. Uh, good, more rockets. Not bad. Can never, can never have too many fucking rockets again. Hit, um, hit the, the left shift button shows you what you can deal with or shows you what you can find or shows you what you can interact with check that shit out i would not have seen a medical crate uh so always 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 um before you exit an area uh i might not even look over there yeah if i'd have looked over there i probably would have went inside but to be honest uh i've gotten sort of spoiled by the shift key right so let me go talk to major tomcat this is who the Jody says she, she left. That's why she calls her Major Tom. Get it, Major Tomcat. And Major Tomcat, Major Tomcat has a fucking cowboy hat on, just like me. So all right, perception one. I say, as you get close, you see the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is awesome. Which is embossed with the name Tom. Dog tags. A cat wearing a dog tag. I love that. 
Uh, come on, cat, we'll catch you. Or I take out the cigarette from Jody Bell and wave him at the cat. And you know what? Is, who am I to fucking say? If the cat wants to smoke, let the cat smoke. Cat says yes. Tom climbs down to you and eager for a smoke. No. And I tell you what, I've got three cats laying around me right now. None of them like the fact. I think they all looked at Tom very judgingly. You know, but cats, by in their nature, they're judging little fucking creatures. They really are. So now we have a cat. Pets are kind of awesome. They do damage, melee damage during the uh, the battles, uh, but they also give you certain quirks. Okay, so whoever recruited her, uh, Aria was the one in charge uh, when I talked to her. So she gets her uh, her perks, which is critical chance. Uh, a buff for critical chance which is nice for anybody um, but the thing is that if let's say I didn't want Arya to have the critical chance I wanted to give it to her uh, you could always just talk to uh, the cat it might be it's might be dangerous with her right now it's 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 interesting because I don't need animal whisperer to get her to follow me because I got the cigarettes okay so this is a special case usually you need animal whisperer perk to get a cat to follow you plus she's a named animal right or he's a named animal tomcat but I had a I had a cat that I thought was a boy when I was a kid and it turned out um, it was a girl matter of fact fluffy my youngest she's 12 uh, she I originally thought she was a boy um, and I was a, I was retired out of the fucking military when I got her, so it shows you how much I've learned. Um, anyway, let me talk to Purr, right? I can dismiss her. But in general, they will stay where you dismiss them, okay? A lot of times I try to dismiss them uh, back at headquarters, Ranger headquarters, so I always know where to come, come back and find them. But, but you can easily now um, talk to her with your other character, in charge and get her to or get Tom to give cigarettes hey pal right and now the cats following Brian so that's really really nice you can juggle your pets depending on the play style so that each one has you can you can maximize the benefit the buff that comes with them and like I said there's also perks that you can get uh, by building up animal whisperer again which you normally need in order to get a pet uh, that can buff up the pet's constitution as well as the damage that they do, as well as the, uh, the, the, the buffs that they give you. So this starts at 6, but if you increase your Animal Whisperer and take perks in it, you can get a, like a 30% critical chance increase by having, hitting, by having Tom hang out with you. Plus, Tom kicks ass in and of his own right because he's a cat, right? A little bit cold, a little bit, uh, little bit off-putting. Uh, maybe not Tom. Tom looks like he has a, you know, spitfire little personality. He's wearing a cowboy hat. I think only a, a really cool cat would probably wear a cowboy hat. Most of my cats would not ever wear a cowboy hat. Fluffy, she'd probably bite the shit out of me if I ever tried to put a cowboy hat on her. But, alright, so that's it for this one. Uh, and I will uh, go through the promotion methods uh, in the, uh, the next video. Uh, again, if you... Uh, stuck around with me uh, thank you so much for uh, for hanging out uh, let me know what you think uh, I'm new to this I love constructive criticism with anything that I'm trying to figure out uh, I've got some other reasons for doing this uh, just for just than uh, streaming games and things like that but uh, definitely if there's something that I can learn to do this part better uh, on top of what I'm also trying to do then uh, to me, that's a win-win. So, thanks again, everybody. Have a, uh, a great day or evening or whatever you got going on. Um, choose.